Hey up, it's Steve from that old Yorkshire Geek, back again with some more news. This time I'm going to have a bit of a moan about George Takei, because he's starting to annoy me now. I used to like him. I used to like George Takei when he used to be a fun fella on the internet. Obviously I love him from when he was Sulu and all that. But he's just turned into a little grumpy, miserable old bugger. He has. So he's having more more um, knocks on um, William Shatner, because they don't get on. So, big deal, they don't get on. So let's have a look. There we go. I have to move that, aren't I? Uh, dun, dun, dun. There we go. George Takei downplays William Shatner's space trip, reigniting long-term feud. He downplayed it a while ago, but he's, he's at it again. <sighs> anyway, this is from Unilad. Uh, as usual, links in the description. Don't forget, like and subscribe, share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell. I'm also on uh, Rumble and Anchor.fm and Spotify and... Amazon Music Podcasts and Google Podcasts. Follow me on my social medias on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the description. As are links for my books, Mercury Rapids and Silent Predator. One's a sci-fi, adventure, light-hearted. The other's, you know, a bit of a horror thing. Uh, one's big and thick. One's little and thin. <laughs> uh, but give them a look. It's just a bit of fun. Right, Josh Takei downplays William Shatner's space trip, reigniting long-term feud. And there's Josh Takei looking happy or something. He looks like a bloody ventriloquist puppet there, doesn't he? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, got a leg here. Uh, and there's William Shatner looking uh, serious in space, going, I'm in space. That's I know that's a rubbish impersonation. I'm not, I'm not Mikey Harwood. Josh Takei added fuel to the fire of his long-running feud with William Shatner as he downplayed the importance of the Star Trek actor's trip to space. Shatner became the oldest man to reach space after he boarded Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin spacecraft and left Earth behind in October 2021. Accompanied by 18-year-old Oliver Demon, uh, that's a unfortunate name, isn't it? Uh, the youngest person ever to travel to space, and two other passengers, Shatner's venture broke a 23-year record set by 77-year-old John Glenn Jr., uh, I think it was Senator Glenn, wasn't he at the time, I think it was, who launched into space in October 1998 on a space shuttle. Which is a better way to go into space than Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin, but, you know, facts are facts. Uh, and there's an image of, there is Shatner, um... Which is the 18 year old? I don't know. Is that? I don't know. I can't tell. Anyway, does it say there? Uh, da, 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 da. No, it doesn't. Right. At the time, Shatner, 91, he's 91 now, I think he was 90 at the time, said he was so filled with emotion over his accomplishment, adding, I hope I never recover from this. However, Takei doesn't think it's such a big deal. The 85-year-old actor shared his thoughts on Shatner's spaceflight during a recent interview with The Mirror, which comes decades after Takei and Shatner fell out while making Star Trek in the 1960s. Guess me dead, man. The pair have publicly taken jabs at each other in the years since, with Takei claiming in his 1994 biography that Shatner ignored him on the Star Trek set. And he's, he's well in his rights to ignore you, George. He was the star. His name were up front. Your name appeared at the end. You were, um, you know, a glorified extra for all intents and purposes. Uh, during the original series, obviously that changed when the movies came along and you were, you know, bumped up the uh, the order a bit. But essentially, you were a glorified extra. Because that's how it was back then. Last year, Shatner told the Times, Takei has never stopped blackening his name, adding some of his former co-stars. These people are bitter and embittered. I have run out of patience with them. Why give credence to people consumed by envy and hate? True. It is, it's true. The feud has now officially been brought into the new year, as when asked about Shatner's space flight, Takei commented, well, he wasn't really in outer space, and it wasn't for very long. Well, he was, he passed the, um, I forgot to call it now, that line. You know, over 100 kilometres, which is officially outer space. So he was, he was in outer space. Yeah, he wasn't in orbit, but he did reach outer space. That's like saying uh, Alan Shepard was never in outer space. He was the first American in space, and he was, but he didn't orbit. He went up and came back down, just as William Shatner did. Uh, and nobody's going to take that. Nobody's going to take that away from Alan Shepard. So why take it away from William Shatner? 
The 85-year-old uh, misery guts continued. I've also been in zero gravity, but I did it for longer. I took a parabolic flight and experienced five minutes of weightlessness, whereas William only experienced three minutes, so I've spent more time in zero gravity than him. <sighs> yeah, but you want in space, why are you? You're in a plane. I've, I've experienced... Everybody's experienced weightlessness. When you jump up in the air, you experience weightlessness for a fraction of a second before you drop back down again. Roller coasters, lifts, you always, you know, that little moment when you're at the top of a, a, you know, a parabolic arc, you experience weightlessness momentarily. Not for five minutes, yeah, but um, so what? So what? You want in space, you were in a plane. In spite of his apparent one-upmanship, Takei went on to claim there was no animosity between himself and Shatner. Yeah, of course there is. However, he then continued, In Star Trek, I was blessed by wonderful and lifelong friends, and we all enjoyed each other's company except for the prima donna. You know, the star of the show. The man whose name was front and centre, along with Leonard Nimoy. Let's just say he's not the easiest guy to work with and I wouldn't leap at another opportunity. That's a universal feeling, although the others have a better sense of restraint and discretion. I believe in being honest and forthright. He'd be the misery goes. The former co-stars do meet up all the time, Takei claimed, though he indicated their meetings only take place at Star Trek conventions where the pair cross paths and Takei says hi Bill and he says hi George and they keep on walking. With the feud officially being taken into outer space, I don't think it's going to end any time soon. They did kind of have a, a bit of a warming, didn't they, a few years ago? Uh, but then they fell out again for some reason. It's all because, I think, it's all because uh, I think George Decay invited him to his wedding and William Shatner couldn't go. And he, I think he apologised for not being able to go. There were other commitments and he couldn't go. But George, George took it personally. It's just a misery. A misery. That's all he is. Let it go. Let it go, George. Just say, just be diplomatic. If anybody asks you about William Shatner, they say, well, we don't get on, but, you know, good luck to him and all that. So just leave it at that. But no, that doesn't make headlines, and that doesn't have people like me doing videos like this, does it? So there you go. So we'll leave it there. I'll leave him in his misery. Because he hasn't been to space. He's been on the plane. I've been on the plane. <laughs> Not uh, not the vomit comet, although I did uh, nearly use the sick bag. <laughs> but I was very drunk. <sighs> that was when I was young and I could do things like that. Anyway, so we'll leave it there. So thanks for watching, wherever you are in the universe. Don't be a misery guts like George Decay. Look after each other. And until next time, I'll see you there.